This is Chris Madden from NetApp. I'd like to show you some exciting stuff that we released recently that helps you to view performance information and capacity information about your NetApp systems in the open source metrics platform Graphite and Grafana. Something a lot of our customers are really excited about as they use these open source metrics platforms to view their entire IT stack. And they asked, can I get NetApp in there too? Well, the answer is sure you can. Let's take a look at what the solution looks like. I'll go ahead and load into Grafana, the dashboarding software, so you can see what you get with this new solution we have available. Once I log in, I see a variety of dashboards have been loaded. One of the most interesting ones is this dashboard map. This shows us all the dashboards we have, both for cluster data on tap systems and for seven mode systems. I'll go ahead and click one of the views of the cluster data on tap system to see what it looks like. Quickly, the Grafana dashboard loads, and we have some highlights, the latency, throughput, IOPS. It's all template-driven, so if I pick a different, a different cluster, I'll suddenly see values for that different cluster. It's very easy to use. The Grafana interface is just fantastic. I can also take any of these panels, make it larger. I can zoom in, I can zoom out again. Go to longer time pans, maybe to look for trending. Seven days, 30 days, even longer. If I want to look at individual systems, I can also click any of these and have it filter down, or maybe click two items. It's really a powerful interface from Grafana, one of the things that makes this really, really useful and easy to use. Now you'll see some of the basic metrics here, but it's not only the, the, the the, the, the basic read-write latency numbers we have. We also have lots of dashboards with additional information. So although on this, on this uh, main page for the cluster we can see, for example, the CPU utilization of both nodes in the cluster, or which CPU domains are busy, or which lifts are busy, or which fiber channel ports are busy. We can also see which SVMs are busy, driving all the workload. Hmm. In this case, it looks like the SDT vSAN 1 SVM is really generating the most workload on this cluster. Now let's say that I wanted to zoom in a little bit more to look at, I don't know, disk statistics. Well then I can click this related dashboards tab and go ahead and click disk and cache layers. And that loads then on even more detail that I can see of about just the disk layer. So if I look I can see disk utilization and IOPS per disk could be very interesting. Or one of the things that I like is information about how flash acceleration is helping. So if I click on the on the flash pool, because this system has or flash cache, this system has flash cache, I can see the flash cache activity success I've had. So we can see the, the flash cache hit, hit rate, we can see the, the reads replaced, we'll take it down to a little shorter time frame to make it more visible. We can also see what kind of data is missing, the percent use percent, all kinds of great stuff. Another nice thing, if you're thinking about using Flash Pool, is it also supports the automated workload analyzer. So using this, I can see how much cache do I need and how much IOPS could be relieved from the disk layer if I were to have that cache. It's the same thing as the tabular report does, but now I get it real time in a graph. You may notice all these data points are being updated every one minute. So it's also quite granular, allows you to quickly research issues that may be occurring in your environment in close to real time. My last thing I'll show you with the cluster data on tap systems is the power of quality of service and the statistics we get from it. If I look at volumes, I can see uh, a, a volume here that's been chosen, this LUN1 volume, and I can see the latency that it has over time. I can see the latency is oftentimes quite low, only two or three milliseconds, but sometimes it looks like it goes up to 10 milliseconds. Now, if I wanted to see why that might go to 10 milliseconds, I can look at the QoS drill down tab. And I can see is that read or write latency? Or what I like even more, I can look at the latency from drill down. And that tells me the breakdown of latency and where it's coming from. Is it coming from the network? So waiting on the host or the or the Ethernet or Fiber Channel Network? Is it coming from the, the, the NetApp system that owns the volume? Or maybe it's actually coming from disk. So using this, we can quickly see that the data 
the bulk of the delay here is actually coming from disk. So we know if that's an, a problem and we want better latency on this volume, we really need to focus on the disk layer. Maybe move this volume to an SSD aggregate, for example. Really, really interesting way to troubleshoot uh, and, and quickly get to the bottom of issues. Now, if you have seven mode systems, those are also well supported by this solution. If I look at the seven mode dashboard and I click on node, I can see a seven mode system. And I can look and I can see the latency and the throughput and the IOPS. I can see where is the data coming from. I can say which components of the systems are the most busy. And again, I can do similar kind of drill down from ports or lifts or, or per protocol. For example, maybe I want to see in the fiber channel protocol what my read-write mix is, how much throughput I'm running. It's really, really quite powerful. Well, that was a quick taste of some of the statistics you have. There are over 500 graphs on 19 different dashboards. So there are really a lot of, a lot of things you can do. You can also make these yourself. So I didn't show, but any of those panels can be customized. Additional counters can be added. Now you may ask, what do I need to do to get this interface in my data center? Well, there are a couple of things. The overall architecture looks like this. We have some device that we're monitoring there that you see on the left. That's a cluster data on tap system or a seven mode system or on command unified manager. If we're talking about capacity information. We then have something that just posted to the NetApp tool chest. This is called NetApp Harvest. This is a data collector that collects the data from those sources every one minute and pushes it off into a metrics database. Now, if you, if you use Graphite as your metrics database and Grafana as your dashboarding, we have some fantastic dashboards, default dashboards, those ones I just showed you. So those will get, get imported by Harvest when you install, and immediately you can view all of the data that's being pushed into there. Now, Graphite and Grafana are open source, so that's something that you, you download from the internet. And of course, the viewer of this is via web browser, as I just showed, and use that from your client. Now, I'm showing this here on two different servers with the Harvest collector on one server and the database on another. In small installations, those can be collapsed onto a single server. If you have less than 20 nodes or so, you can put those on a single server with perhaps two virtual CPUs. So what do you need to do next if you want to realize this? solution in your environment. Well, the first thing is you need to install Graphite and Grafana. Now, this is something, again, open source software. You can find instructions on the internet, but to make it easy for you, we've actually written instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. All you need to do is copy and paste, and you can be successful. For Ubuntu, using the native package repositories, Red Hat 6 and Red Hat 7. And in the Red Hat 6 and 7 cases, we have both instructions for when you have an internet connection and we can pull directly from repositories or when we need to do an offline method using a jump host and copy files uh, you know from an internet connected host into the, uh, the the Red Hat system so we have these instructions you can get up and running with the graphite and Grafana in about a half hour after you have that you need to download NetApp Harvest the data collector for the, the NetApp products from the tool chest there's a detailed set of instructions there configure it it's also something takes you maybe 30 minutes. After that, what's left to do? Enjoy the dashboards. So all the dashboards I just showed you are out of box. You can go immediately start viewing the data and the performance of your system. You can also share the experiences you have, ask questions, maybe some of the dashboards you create for your environment. You could share all of those on the communities. If you do post things on the communities, please use a tag of netapp-harvest. That'll help us find these and, and sort them and make sure that questions are answered quickly. Well, that's it. I just wanted to give you that quick introduction and show you what we've been working on. I plan to create more videos in the future where I go through each of the different dashboards we have and explain panel by panel the information display there. But for now, I just wanted to get this out and get you excited about this new ability we have. Thanks a lot.